Hey guys, let's talk about filament. This is something that drove me absolutely insane when I first started printing and I do see quite a lot of other people bringing it up and talking about it. So I figure, let's do a little clip on it. So the first thing that I've done, I'm not sure if you can see our screen here. The first thing I've done is I have uh, heated up. So I've preheated all the way right up to, see if we can get it, 240. Um, and that's roughly what I normally print my ABS at. So, heating up to the plastic that you're putting into your, your, your printer or taking out of your printer is the first step. Always start at your, at your preheated point. So the next thing that we're going to do, again this is ABS, so I've started at 240. Next thing I'm going to do, into our quick settings, I'm going to go down to cool down and let it start cooling down. And we're going to watch our temperature. And um, normally with ABS I've found around the 190 point to be a bit of a success. Um, but you can kind of test that as you go. So what, you, what you're doing is uh, you can feed a little bit through, extrude a little bit through, oh, sorry. extrude a little bit through. Yeah, still nice and easy. Let it go through. Now we're at 220 there. Let's come back down here. Cool. Now we're at 210, 207, 206. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed a little bit through and then fairly quickly pull out once we get to about 190. So we're getting closer, 199 there. 198, come on baby. Right, so we're getting the low 90s now. So what we're going to do is just push a little bit of filament through and pull straight out. Now we've got that yucky glob there, which is fine. I'm going to immediately head back to preheating. Now, loading filament is never, I don't think, easy. Sometimes you do fluke it, sometimes you get it perfect every time, the first time, but um, not so often for me. It's a little bit hit and miss, and I will show you why that is on the inside. So the next thing, we've hit preheat again, it's going back up to 240. I'm just going to put the same filament back in, which is ABS again, so we're going to go back, back again. Now let's, let's do what they say and take a good bit off, just for the sake of the video. So we're dealing with nice, clean, straightened filament there. Very nice. Very nice. Now, we're going to feed this straight in, the hole, and it's going to go in about 2 centimeters and then stop. Now we're going to push our screw down, feed it in, and we're going to hope that our filament just goes straight in and through and out your hot end. Again, can be a little bit hit and miss, it doesn't always happen the first time. Be patient, because you will, should, you should get it. Um, that's pretty much it. Now we're ready to print. Um, if you had an excess of a different plastic in there, then you might want to operate a little bit differently in order to clean it out. So if you're printing with, for example, ABS, and you're feeding um, PLA into it, there's obviously a big difference in temperatures there that you're working with. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your ABS temperature to make sure you can properly get all of the residual ABS out of the hot end, and then slowly drop your temperature down to your PLA temperature as you're, as you're confident there's no ABS left in the hot end. Um, now I haven't got my little fanny ducty thing on there, uh, nozzle, that's the one that just came with the printer, uh, just for purely for this exercise, but normally I would have that on there of course. Um, I think that's basically it really for now. Um, now we're going to cut and have a look on the inside and see what's going on in there and why it can be such a pain. You're taking your filament, you're feeding it in through your hole, your initial two centimeters, which is to the top of your gears there. Then you're pushing down your screw, which is relieving those gears, and you're letting it slide through, and hopefully, hopefully, directly into that little hole, through your hot end, and out onto your hot bed, or whatever the case may be. So that's the, that's the ideal plan. It, when you're constructing this bad boy, you can often, hopefully, try and hold it 
in a certain locations, then you screw it all together. You have a slightly more direct lead straight into that hole. But it's really varied success. You have to really work with it. So that's what's happening on the inside there.